All right, today's quick tip involves using a simple image API or being able to retrieve uh, images from an API. That could be valuable for some applications of AppSheet. This is just a quick example of something you can do. Um, here I have just a list of names and there's an image API where I could dynamically call out to that API and retrieve a profile initial essentially for each name here. And that's dynamically occurs. So you don't need to be making um, images uh, manually or you can, in the case of a, maybe a profile or something like that in your app sheet app, you can have something that still is visually pleasing, even if you don't have a profile picture or the user doesn't provide a profile picture, you can still provide something visually appealing in the app itself. So to do this, uh, you first, first want to find an API. And uh, this is the API I'm using in this example, UI avatars, um, just a really simple example. But basically any API call that's a Git call, right? That you can simply just have a URL where you can append on different attributes. And in, in this case, it could, you know, it's there's the name you can have and then you could append on different color, a background color, and um, maybe change the size and more, right? We'll get into the details here, but it's basically any a image API that has a URL um, that you can use, and that would be the totality of uh, the API call, just the URL itself. And then to use that in AppSheet, you would simply just need to create a virtual column um, for the record, right? That would dynamically compute that URL. So here I have this profile image column that I created. And here I'm just simply constructing that URL. And instead of statically constructing a URL, I'm actually concatenating columns in here, such as the first name column, the last name column, what the format is, you know, whether it's rounded or not, and then a background color as well. Um, that happens to correspond to a hex color table, but we're going to get into that as, but the point is you can dynamically reference columns when constructing the value. And if we click test, you'll see that that's all that we're doing here, right? We're constructing this URL and the formula itself, the, the column type is image, is set to image. So that's what gives AppSheet the context to then generate an image from whatever link uh, is constructed here. So really this works no differently than you hard coding a URL uh, to pull an image. Only in this case, it's using an API that can dynamically generate that image that's being retrieved by AppSheet.